Hi there. Today we're going to be having another look at a millimeter wave sensor, and this time it's the one from Limtech. So the Limtech device is a 24 gigahertz millimeter wave radar human presence detection sensor. It's got up to a six meter sensing distance and a maximum of 180 degree sensing angle. So having a look at the device, it's got a nice injection molded plastic case and it's got a nice heavy feel about it. On the front here, we've got a little blue LED and this is a button that presses in for the pairing. It does come with this little mount, which is magnetic. So if you click this onto the back, I think it's the other way around, you click it on the back there and you can either pull this adhesive layer and use that as your to stick it onto a surface or you can connect it or stick it onto a metal surface magnetically. Now it does have this little angled system that allows it to be angled at various options and on the side here you can see you've got your USB power supply. It does come with a USB cable but no charging brick. So I've plugged the device in using a USB-C cable as provided in the box and I've opened up the Smart Life app and immediately we see that the presence sensor has been detected and we can press the add button. All right, now it's picking up my Wi-Fi. We go next and it's busy adding the human presence sensor. There we go. The sensor has now been added. We'll select done. And there we go. So as you can see, it's telling us that it's detecting presence. Um, currently, it's telling me that I am 76 centimeters away, and I see it's also giving me a lux value, a light value. Over here, we have a motion detection sensitivity. So I found the settings around three or four were really good. If you go right up to five, it's just bringing lots of false positives. It also has a motionless detection. So I set both of these around three. They seem to be working pretty well at that. Um, it also has a cooldown period, so we can actually select the cooldown period over here. And over here we have a record of presence, so this will give us a history of presence versus non-presence. And we've also got our illumination. So let's have a look at our two-year app in Home Assistant and see if that's able to bring anything in. Let's have a look here. Add integration to you. Here we go. We'll submit our code and see if we get anything. We'll submit that and let's see if anything happens. So there we go. The human presence detection sensor is showing there. So I'm going to put that in the kitchen, for example, and I'm going to go finish. And let's see what devices or what entities are actually going to show on this to your app. So we've got eight devices there now. Human presence sensor. So there we go. It's actually pulling into the to your app, the to your integration on Home Assistant, and it is detecting motion. So I've so, got two configurations here. I've got the far away detection and I've got the sensitivity detection. And as you can see, I've got a detected so it seems as if the only entity that I can actually sense is either detection or non-detection. So this little presence sensor is really good for basic functionality coming into Home Assistant as a presence detection system. However, you're not going to be able to see the distance that you're away from the sensor. And this is not a device offering zones. Now I've got the, the Wi-Fi version. There is also a Zigbee version. I haven't got the Zigbee version, but there's a couple of videos online that I've checked out. And with the ZHA integration, it offers the very similar functionality as the Tuya integration. However, if you do go Zigbee to MQTT, it seems like it's pulling in a whole lot more functionality and allowing you to do a lot more. Anyway, that's all for me now. But thanks for your time today. And if you've enjoyed this video, Please like and subscribe and share this with your friends. Bye for now.